Let's talk about how we can use trigonometry to calculate the area of a triangle. You might remember from our previous lesson about the ambiguous case using the law of sines that part of the solving process was calculating the height of the triangle. And we discussed how you can calculate the height of a triangle using the sine of an angle. The height of this triangle would be the perpendicular length between angle C and side C, which we labeled with an H and that creates this little right triangle on the left-hand side of the diagram. H is opposite from angle A, and B is the hypotenuse. So we could say that sine of A is equal to H over B, the opposite over the hypotenuse. Solving for H yields this formula, height equals B times sine of A. Now recall from middle school, or maybe even elementary school math, that the area of a triangle is equal to one-half times the base of the triangle times the height of the triangle. Well, we just found an alternative way to express the height. The height is equal to b times sine of a. And the base is the length of little c. So we could say that the area of a triangle is equal to 1 half times the base, which is little c, times the height, which is b times the sine of a. So let's try an example. It can be helpful to label each of your side lengths with lowercase letters. It'll make filling in your formulas a little bit easier. Across from angle A is little a, across from angle B is little b, and across from angle C is little c. And the formula for the area of a triangle using trigonometry is 1 half times c times b times the sine of a. So let's just fill in our numbers. c is 17, b is 21, and the sine of a, that would be the sine of 81. So type that into the calculator and round to the nearest tenth, then we find out that the area of this triangle is approximately 176.3 square meters. Easy peasy. But what if you're not given the correct measurements? In this case, I don't know any of my angle measures, I only know my side lengths. I know that little a would be 63 kilometers, little b is 62 kilometers, and little c is 31 kilometers. So thinking about my area formula, I have little c and I have little b, but I don't have big A. So since this is a side-side-side situation, I need to use the law of cosines to calculate the measure of angle A. Remember that there's two versions of the law of cosines depending on which type of measurement you're looking for. In this case, we're looking for an angle measure, so we're going to use the formula that starts with cosine of A. So cosine of A equals little a squared, minus little b squared minus little c squared over negative 2 times little b times little c. Type that in the calculator, take the inverse cosine of both sides, and we find out that the measure of angle A is 77.4 degrees. Now I have everything I need to fill in my area formula. The area is equal to 1 half times little c times little b times the sine of big A. Type all of that into the calculator and we end up with a final answer of approximately 938 square kilometers. Our next example is lacking information as well. Realistically what we need in order to use this formula are two sides and the included angle, but what we know this time is two angles and the included side. So we're going to need to do some extra work to figure out the measurements we need for our formula. Let's go ahead and label our sides. Across from angle A is length little a, across from angle B is little b, and across from angle C is little c. So looking at my area formula, I know two of the three things that I need. I know the measure of angle A, and I know the length of little b. What I don't know is the length of little c. Since this is an angle side angle situation, I'm going to use the law of sines to calculate the missing side length. But in order to do that, I actually need to start out by calculating the measure of angle B. I know I don't need that for the area formula, but I do need that for the law of sines formula. And it's easy to figure out using the triangle sum formula, subtract 25 and 27 from 180, and we find out that the measure of angle B is 128 degrees. So now I can write the first ratio in my law of sines proportion, 8 over sine of 128, and I'll set that equal to C over the sine of 27 cross multiply, and solve, and I find out that c is 4.6 yards. So now I have all the information I need to fill in my formula. The area of this triangle is equal to 1 half times 4.6 times 8 times the sine of 25, 
and that would be approximately 7.8 square yards. And that's all you need to know about calculating the area of a triangle using trigonometry. And that's actually all that you need to know about trigonometry for this class. There's actually way more to learn about trigonometry, but that's all that we're going to cover in geometry. In our next unit, we're going to be moving on to quadrilaterals.